a nice little TP-10 on it, keeping the sun off of it. And you can see the, uh, the stump cover. Hopefully, you're going to keep the stump a little drier of these downpours we keep getting every other day. And over here is a 282 Dawson traditional plant, doing uh, extremely well. Uh, it's been very late to get females on it, um, but it's got a couple on it now, and hoping some pollinations have taken. It's 236 Kent Graft Rampart Gourd Rootstock. Uh, Nathan in Bat Cave, North Carolina, did all of my grafts this year, did a wonderful job. We want to thank Nathan for those. Uh, plant here is really kind of weird plant. It uh, shot out a lot of really long main runners, uh, but it never laterally branched and, and, and created any secondaries. So uh, a pair of scissors lopped them off, and lo and behold, it's uh, starting to fill in a little bit. Got a 102 Dawson traditional here. Uh, in the process of setting some females. Uh, we got a 282 Dawson graft here. Uh, Rampart Gourd as well. Starting to get a few females. Uh, 255 Mitchell here. Two or three small females on it going. Uh, 251 Dawson traditional. Um, if you take a look at this one, you can kind of see the small little melon here. Uh, got it up on the racks yesterday. Um, it's about seven, eight days old. Uh, then over here is a 232 Williams graft to a pear gourd. It's my only pear gourd rootstock. Um, this plant was planted for the farmer's market competition on August 1st. Uh, melon here is around 100 pounds. I was pollinated on June 2nd. I uh, had a really bad stem crack due to a bad windstorm we had, so the gains on it have not been um, anywhere near what they what they should be, but still.